Dang. The back to school week has officially kicked off. <laughs> As of Monday, this Monday, so four days ago, three days ago, four days ago, the back to school book selling craziness on Amazon for everybody, Merchant Fulfilled and FBA, but let's talk about FBA, has officially gone through the roof and has begun. So hopefully your senior sales spike can go up as I am. So this started on Monday. I've seen some really great sales days before that this month. Even the end of July, I had a, I had a big sales day. But it's officially started, guys. Every day has been big. So Monday, I had 15 sales. Tuesday, which is not the very start of the week, but it's the start of the week. I had 25 sales. Yesterday, Wednesday, I had 12 sales. And today, Thursday, as of 11 a.m. my time here on the West Coast, I already have eight sales. Eight. So 13 more hours in the day, I have eight sales. Pretty confident I'll double that sales number. Of course, you never know. 15, 25, 12, th th those are all great numbers, but you know, to go from 15 to 25, why did I sell 25 on Tuesday versus 15 and 12? The other two days, I don't know. But maybe today I'll be another 20 plus day sale, I'm not sure. But guys, this is what I've been talking about what we've all been waiting for for months. I've been talking about this since the beginning of the year, especially since I've been making videos. I've been talking about this for the last three, four, five months about this time and we are officially in it, in it, in it. If you just started a few months ago, you don't have that many books in stock, not that many back to school books. You should still see a little bit of a spike in sales. Let's say you only have three, four, 500 books in there. You should still see some sales. I did when I only had, I don't know how many I had. When I had about, I had over a thousand a year ago, probably like 1300 books and I sold 106 books. 106 books all month of August, which for me was incredible back then. That was my biggest, that was my biggest sales month by far. In July, I think I did 48, so more than doubled it. But the first three days of this week, Monday through Wednesday, I had 52 sales. So I have almost half of the sales I did last August, three days of this month, this August. Needless to say, sending in a lot more books and the right kind of books pays off big time when back to school finally hits. And August is the biggest back to school month, August and into September. So this week it'll start and then it'll go into about seven, 10 days, maybe two weeks into September and then it'll fall off and we'll go back to normal sales. I strongly suggest that you continue to send in as many shipments as you can, as many books as you can to take advantage of this and to have as many books as you can in inventory once back to school peters out and we're into the normal September and then October, which is a little bit down based upon my numbers last year. Let's take advantage of it and enjoy it. My ASP over the first three days was $15.49 and it was higher on a couple of those individual days. So clearly a lot of the books that I'm selling are higher priced because they're school book, uh, because they're school related be they textbooks, just whatever it is related to school. I have some books up there that are that are priced over, over $30, $40, $50, a good amount. Not a ton, not as many as I'd like, of course, but it, it's helping to bring up my average sale price, my ASP. So $15.49 over the first three days. Today, my ASP, I believe, is even higher than that, 16 or 17, I can't remember. So that is another big benefit is if you have sent in a lot of uh, school books, school-related books, higher-priced books, a lot of them should sell, most of them should sell during this time, or you should try to sell all of them, as many of them as you can, take advantage of it. Go in there, reprice uh, after maybe a week or two to see if the ones that are not selling, maybe you can uh, try to get those to move. So it's an exciting time, and even though I'm selling a lot, more than I've ever sold uh, in such a short period of time, I still feel like I want more books in inventory. Right now, my inventory has gone down to, I checked it last night, it was at 2,652 items, which is probably a little bit lower now, probably 2,640s. And remember, I had my inventory up in the high 2,800s just recently. Now, granted, I got rid of about around 150-ish books through the, the Amazon free removal promotion. So that brought my numbers down to close to 2,700, 140 or 50 or something like that. So that's a part of it, but nonetheless, my numbers, my inventory numbers are going down, which is exactly what I want. By the end of back to school, which is about a month here, by the mid-September, when, when the madness slows down, I hope that my inventory is closer to 2,000 uh, so that I have to build it back up. 
and that I sold a lot of books. I'm shooting for, I'm shooting for hopefully 400 sales this month, hopefully more, we'll see. But I'm curious, are you guys seeing your sales go up? Now I know you guys that have been doing this longer than me or as long as me or a year, year and a half, something like that are, are probably seeing some big sales. But I'm wondering if people that have been doing this less than a year are seeing their sales go up or even less than six months. Because for me, when I started in September, I had more sales in December and then uh, January and February because of the holidays and then the back to school uh, months in January and February. So even though I didn't have that many books, I had, I don't know, 500 books, something like that. I don't know exactly. I still saw sales. Like in December of last year, I had eight sales because a lot of books I sent in were just not worth sending in. I didn't know. For me, that was good back then, but even with a small amount of books that were not that great, I still had more sales because of you know, the holidays. And that's kind of the same thing right now. Even if you only have, let's say, 500 books, you should be seeing some sales unless you send in books that are more long tail and you might not see as big of a spike. But I'm just curious to hear how you guys are, your sales are going, especially for you newer people under a year, under six months. But I'm sure everybody out there that's been doing this as long as me or longer is seeing great sales and we're gonna have a great few weeks here. And then we just work towards uh, Q4. So let's take advantage of it. And also wanna talk about a sale I had on August 9th, I think. This was a book that I bought, I made a video about it. It's one of the books that I bought at that thrift store. I got 48 books and a bunch of them were high priced school books. This one sold for $51.51. And it sold within about 10 days of hitting the warehouse. I only spent $1 on the book sold for $51.51 and I was paid $40.87. So I made 40 times my investment. And, and let's break that down. A dollar into $40.87. So basically 40 bucks. All my costs were, was the dollar and inbound shipping. Inbound shipping is next to nothing. I figure that it's around 20 cents per book when I send it in. It's much less when it's CDs, but for books, this, was a, this wasn't a super heavy book, but it was a kind of, no, it wasn't actually. This was a, a fairly light book, paperback. Uh, school book, but this was probably around 20 cents, 18 cents to send in. So about a dollar twenty, dollar and a quarter to send the book in. So still around about 40 bucks profit. Now, this is the amazing thing about this, right? So I turn a dollar into forty dollars, and then when I get paid the forty dollars, I can turn around and buy forty books with the forty dollars because I average a dollar a book. So that's forty new books. Send them into Amazon. Forty dollars invested. And let's say over the next six months, I sell 75% of them. And this isn't a random number. I mean, this is pretty, pretty standard. Unless I'm sending in the 40 books are mostly quick sellers, like within a few weeks or a month, some of them are gonna take a few months to sell. And some of them, unfortunately, this is the reality, will either take a long time to sell, like up to a year or longer, or just will never sell for whatever reason. The price tanks because too many people send in that book, the demand goes down whatever those happen so let's say 25 percent maybe within a year i'll have sold hopefully i only have 10 or 15 percent left over after a year let's say 25 percent so that that means that 40 dollars will turn into roughly 240 dollars from amazon paid to me how do i figure that out well 25 percent is uh 10 so i take 10 uh, 10 books out and so then 30 books times eight dollars i'm saying this is my average payout per book currently it's around just under $13. It's going up a little bit, but that's what it's been for a little while now because I'm sending a lot of the, the quicker turnover, lower profit books. So about an $8 payout, that's $240. Track 30 bucks from that. Track 30, it's around $200. Uh, then I can turn that $200 into 200 books. We're taking a little bit of time, a couple weeks, but let's say 200 books. Send all of those 200 books in another six months. So 25% out, that $200 roughly turns into about $1,200. So from $1 within, it, it's gonna vary guys, but let's say six months to a year, that can turn into $1,200. Let's say a year, it's gonna be less time, but let's say a year. So if you have a dollar and you invest it in the stock market and within a year, that turned into $1,200, would you be happy? That's only $1 now, $1. So that is definitely the power of this FBA business where if they understand that you, you can turn $1 into hundreds or thousands of dollars if you keep reinvesting in the business.
If you keep reinvesting a lot of the money that you get back, you can keep growing it and multiplying it and doubling it. That's how I've been able to accumulate the amount of money that I've made because I keep, I keep buying more and more inventory. And I have way more payout than I can spend on inventory because I'm limited in my time and the amount of inventory that's out there that I can find. If you're full-time, then you know what I'm talking about clearly, or if you have more time, you're working a job part-time, full-time, and you can put 20, 30 hours a week into this, go sourcing four times a week, listing, shipping multiple times a week, then you know you know how you can turn, start this business with a couple hundred bucks, maybe let's say three to $500, and within a year, you can turn, let's say, the $500 into 20 grand. You can do that. It takes work, it takes consistent effort, but it's there, the possibility is there. The more you source, i.e. the more you scan, the heart of it is scanning, looking those books up, figuring out which ones sell, but then you have to send them in and see what sells. So it takes trial and error and you send in books that don't sell or that tank, that sort of thing, you kind of have to figure that out. So it's all a learning curve. But that's why you have to keep it up. You have to do this for a year or two to really figure it out. Unfortunately, this is not gonna take three to six months and then Whoop, my $500 turned into 20 grand unless you source that $500 into all, well, you're gonna have to do inbound shipping. Let's be real. <laughs> but let's say you turn that $300, 300 books, they were all the ASP is like average 30, $35. Well, then you're gonna get quicker to that, you know, that big, those big payouts and, and turning that money into thousands of dollars. But that's what I've done. Started with, with hundreds of dollars and I've made thousands of dollars. I looked at my numbers from January of this year to June and I, my sourcing costs were like $1,500, but Amazon paid me over $10,000, something like that. Remember, those $1,500, I haven't sold all of those books and CDs and VHS tapes. A lot of them are still there and they're selling. So that's gonna turn into way more money than what I was paid. So that's kind of what I'm talking about. And as you reprice, and things sell, it's gonna turn into a lot more money. I'm selling stuff every, every, almost every day, but definitely every few days from 2015. Not just from 2016, even though it's August. I'm still selling stuff from last year uh, at various prices. Sometimes I had to lower them. Sometimes they were, they were a high price and they sell for good money. I sold one for like 30 bucks recently from last year. And just making the point here, while also talking about back to school, is that you can turn that dollar, $10, $100, $500 dollars into much more money you just have to be consistent and patient and figure out how this business works so let me know how your august is going so far first official week of back to school book selling madness and as always remember keep booking